Hello, boys and girls. Are you ready for some fun math today? Today we're going to be doing the page. Hooray for Hanukkah. So yesterday we spoke a little bit about Hanukkah. It's a festival of light for the people of the Jewish faith that celebrate for eight days. Today we're going to be doing a worksheet that shows Hanukkah gelt. So the gelt are the golden chocolate coins that children and even grown-ups get when they play a game with something that looks like this. This is called a dreidel. It's like a spinning top and it has four sides with four symbols. And when people play dreidel, they spin and then the dreidel stops and there's a symbol. The symbols then tell the player what to do. Sometimes they'll take coins from the middle. Sometimes they'll put coins and share coins. So let's go ahead and learn a little bit about dreidels and Hanukkah gelt. Here's a story called Dreidel, Dreidel, Dreidel. It's even a little song. It goes like this. I have a little dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, then dreidel I shall play. My dreidel's always playful. It loves to dance and spin. And when it gets all tired, it drops and then I win. Oh, dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, then dreidel I shall play. Isn't that a cute little song? So boys and girls, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the symbols on a dreidel. So dreidels can look like this. Dreidels can look like this. They spin and then they land on one of the symbols. And that symbol tells a rule of what to do with the Hanukkah gelt, the chocolate coins. So if you land on this symbol, this is called shin. So a player would put a gelt into the middle pot. Then all the players, including the first, will put in another. And then you pass the dreidel to the next player. If you spin and the dreidel falls on none, you don't do anything. All the players put in another coin and the dreidel gets passed to the third player. If you spin the dreidel and you land on this symbol, this is called hay. You take half of the coins that are in the pot. So if there were four coins in the pot, like this, you would take half of them. You would take two, and the dreidel gets passed to the fourth player. If the dreidel falls on this symbol called gimel, you take everything. So if there were five coins in the middle in the pot, you would get to take all of them if you landed on Gimel. And then everybody puts one coin back in the middle so the game can start again. And so you spin the dreidel and you keep playing and it's lots of fun. And that is a traditional Hanukkah game called dreidel where you can earn gelt. Let's go ahead and write our name at the tippy top of our page. You can use your pencil. You can use your flare pen. I'll use my pencil today. Remember, uppercase and lowercase letters for your name. And then keep your pencil handy because we're going to write the numbers, okay? So we are going to count each set, all right? The the writing has to go with here on the line. So you first you have to count the coins. And then if we have a set of coins that shows eight, like the eight candles on the menorah, then we will color those coins yellow. So let's go ahead and count first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's label our coins. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. 
So we'll put seven here. Are we going to color this set? No, seven is less than eight. So we have to have eight to color that set of coins. Let's count the next set. Let's label them as we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight coins here. Shall we color them yellow like the golden gelt? Let's go ahead and get our yellow. We can color this set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. All right, friends. Let's count the next set. Let's label as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, here are a set of twelve Hanukkah gelt. Can we color this set? No. 12 is greater than eight. So we're not going to color that set. How about this set here? Let's label as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight gelt. Go ahead, let's color them in. That's a set of eight. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great job, friends. Let's continue counting and labeling our Hanukkah gelt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Can we color this set? No, 11 is greater than eight. Good job, you know how to compare numbers. Let's go ahead and count the next set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness, eight gelt for eight days of Hanukkah. Let's color them in golden. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yay, great job. Let's count the last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we color this set, friends? No, ten is greater than eight. Wow, let's go ahead and flip over our paper and let's get our dots and let's do some part, part, whole practice for addition sentences. So let's go ahead and make a wiggly line to the middle of your page and then a wiggly line across. Just like that. So this is a part of a group. This is another part. And then the whole will be at the bottom. Okay? So it's like we're going to do an addition sentence here at the bottom. Okay, friends? So let's try it with our dots. All right. I spun my little dreidel and I got to take two gelt out of the pot. Then I spun my dreidel again and I got to take three out of the pot. How many did I get to take in all? One, two, three, four, five. That's right because two plus three equals five. Let's try another addition sentence. 
So let's take these away and let's think of another addition sentence. Maybe I'll write another addition sentence here. So I'm gonna put my spaces where I'm going to add my numbers in, okay? So my friend spun the dreidel and got to take four Hanukkah gelt out of the pot. My friend spun the dreidel again and got to take four more. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. How many Hanukkah gelt did my friend have all together? Well, we have one, two, three, four on the left. One, two, three, four on the right. If I join them all together, friends, how many do I have in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight all together. Great job, friends. You can go ahead and continue playing that game. Maybe you can make some more addition sentences to share with your teacher on Flipgrid. We sure would love to see all the different ways you can use your counting dots to make some addition sentences. I sure hope you had fun today learning about the dreidel game and Hanukkah gelt. I sure had fun playing with you. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.